How's it going people? For today's video, I'm going to explain how to build the monorail in LEGO Fortnite. Now in order to make the monorail, the first thing you'll have to do is use code A1. Hey, it's a very important step in the monorail making process. So we're going to be using the two villages I made as examples. Right now we're in the village that's located in the Frostlands and we're going to try to make a monorail connecting this village to the village that we have in the grasslands. First thing you'll want to do is farm a shitload of granite. I spent about 10 or 15 minutes farming granite and I got a little over 500 granite and that was more than enough to make the monorail. Second thing you'll want to do is make sure that you build it high enough to where it doesn't run into any terrain because you're not going to be able to build through that terrain. It's okay if trees are in the way. You can knock those down but it's not going to work if there's a, a mountain or a hill in the way. Now the first piece you'll need is this granite foundation piece and it only costs one granite and the way that I built it was I built three granite foundation pieces right next to each other I built three for a couple of reasons for one so I can show you the width you need between the monorails it's gonna be the same size as one granite foundation and for two it's gonna help us keep our monorail centered when we build that later but yeah we can go ahead and destroy this little middle piece because we're not going to use it once the monorail's finished i just wanted to show the width you need between the two monorails anyways at this point all you need to do is just keep building the granite foundation pieces all the way to your destination and this is going to take a while so i'm going to go ahead and speed this up all right so we just made it to my second village and it doesn't line up directly with it but it's pretty close to it so i'm going to try to make that tower at my village connect to this monorail but before that we need to go back and build the second rail and we're going to do the same thing we did last time just keep placing the granite foundation pieces one in front of the other until you reach your destination all right so i built the platform for us to stand on so we can get to the monorail from this village all right so now that i have a platform connected to it the next thing i did was widened the monorails at the end all i did was just add two granite foundation pieces on both sides of the monorails so now it's a row of seven instead of three and the reason we extended this part was so that the monorail will stop once we get to this location so before we actually lay down the dynamic foundation which is the monorail first we need to fill in the middle part of the monorail so it doesn't tip over and then we're going to try to line up the two yellow squares with the two pieces we're going to use for the monorail you want to try to have those yellow squares lined up directly with your monorail on both sides if we didn't have a piece in the middle right there our dynamic foundation would have tipped over or it would have leaned too far to one side so that's why you want to fill in that middle piece when you place down the dynamic foundation and again we'll destroy that middle piece later next thing we need to do is put the wheels on it and you don't want to put the wheels on the normal way instead you want to put the wheels on sideways and you also have to put them underneath the dynamic foundation so one way to make this part really easy is to just build underneath it and while you're standing under there you can place the wheels on a little bit easier that way before you put the wheels on make sure your dynamic foundation is as straight as possible and has about the same amount of space on both sides and at this point all you have to do is just place down the tires sideways and each of the four corners and it's okay if it shakes around a little bit like that it should still work even if it does that but once you place down all four tires it should look something similar to this and you can go ahead and push it just to make sure it works next thing we'll need to do is place down a wood foundation next you can place down either a large or small thruster we're going to use the large thruster in this example and the last thing you'll need to do is place down an activation switch anywhere on the platform it should work from anywhere. Once you've done all those things, all you have to do is interact with the activation switch and it should push you along the monorail. Now the thruster will go out like every 10 seconds or so, but all you have to do is just interact with the activation switch again and it'll continue pushing you along. Anyways, once we get back to the other side and you see it stopped because our initial platform is wider than the monorails. So basically our wheels ran into the platform and that's how I chose to stop the monorail. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but that's how I chose to do it. Anyways, at this point, all you need to do is just destroy the thruster. Uh, you don't need to destroy the wood foundation or the activation switch. Just destroy the thruster and place it on the other side. And in order to make it go the other way, you're just going to do the same thing we did to go this way. Add a wood foundation on the end of it 
and place either a large or small thruster on that wood foundation as well as the activation switch on top of it and it should work the same way but in reverse and this time i actually want to place a chest on it this time just to see if i can transport some materials if i need to and it looks like it works even if the chest is on it so you will be able to transport materials and resources using this monorail that we built another thing i want to try doing is seeing if we can have two activation switches and two thrusters on at the same time and yeah it's not going to work if you have two thrusters on even if you only hit one activation trigger both of them will turn on so you can't have both thrusters on at the same time, but that thruster is the only thing you'll need to destroy. But another thing I would recommend doing is building the wood foundation on both sides, as well as an activation switch on both sides. So that way, the only thing you'll need to destroy and replace is the thruster. And I'm going to show you how to get all the materials you need in order to make as many thrusters as you want. So when it comes to making thrusters, you'll need wooden rods which you get from wood. So I'm not gonna explain how to get that. You'll also need a torch, which is another item that's very easy to obtain. But you'll also need three blast powder. And I just wanted to quickly explain how I farm blast powder. For those who don't know, if you build a village in the desert biome and kill skeletons at night, not only will they drop bones, but they also drop blast powder and they drop a lot of it. So if you wanna get a lot of blast powder in order to build a lot of these thrusters, I would recommend that you build a village in the desert biome. You should also hire some villagers so they can kill the skelly boys and just hang out in that desert village for a couple of nights and you'll have more than enough blast powder to craft as many thrusters as you need. And like I said, the wooden rods and the torches are really easy to get as well. So if you farm those materials, you should be able to use your monorail as often as you want. But yeah, that's how we built the monorail in Lego Fortnite. I think the next thing I want to do is either try to build a plane or an airship. I haven't attempted to do that yet, but we'll try to get that up within the next day or so. Anyways, before I go, I did want to give a huge shout out to everybody who's been using Creator Code A1 and just want to say thank you for your support. Anyways, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.